Hi, I'm on site at Embedded World 2025, and joining me today is Chris Miller, Vice President at VersaLogic. We're going to be talking about VersaLogic's latest products, the Sabertooth AI and Sabertooth Connect. Chris, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Could you start us off by giving a quick introduction to who you are? Sure. Uh, as you mentioned, my name is Chris Miller. I'm Vice President at VersaLogic Corporation, uh, coming up on almost 20 years with the company. Um, worked in almost every aspect of the company, so I uh, enjoyed my time in Embedded and really excited about where we're headed and what we're showing at the show today. Great, and can you introduce VersaLogic? Sure. So VersaLogic's been around for um, almost 50 years now in the embedded industry. Uh, we focus primarily on high reliability, uh, ruggedness, extended temperature, and incredible support for our customers. Um, and those are the pillars that we've based the company on since its inception. Great, and I see here you have brought a product I, for I us have. to have a look at, which um, is the Sabertooth AI. It is. Could you walk us through what its key features are? Sure, so Sabertooth AI is really exciting for us. It's our first venture into a GPU-enabled product. So it's a Xeon CPU-based system, but it's modular, so we were able to actually add an NVIDIA GPU to it. So this NVIDIA GPU can be used for graphics output, but more importantly in this market these days is for AI inferencing. Uh, and it's really added to our product line and, and our ability to service the, this part of the market. And following on from this point about AI inferencing, what advantages does it offer industries that are now using AI in their operations? Sure, primarily it's faster. You know, I mean, in this market, anything that's faster or, or uh, uses less power, et cetera, is a good thing. So we, through our benchmarking, we determine it's about 25 times as fast as the the leader in the industry, which is the Jetson AGX Orin product. Um, so our customers who are coming to us for this product are really looking for something that's going to go beyond what Jetson could do for them. Um, and that's that's the primary objective. The other thing is it's a full uh, extended temperature rated product. So it's going to be minus 40 to plus 85 C um, and it's shock and vibrated as well. So rugged environments, difficult areas for these kinds of products to work is really what we've focused on. Sure, what are some of the applications for the product? Sure, uh, one of the ones that I, I like to talk about the most is a border security application. The, out in the hot baking sun or up on the cold border on the north, um, where it's actually looking through the windscreens of cars and doing facial recognition so that they can identify people that they might need to have a conversation with as they cross the border. Um, so the ability to do that in real time out in the world in those harsh environments, is, is we're really proud of that application. And I understand that with this latest product, you were able to increase AI inferencing by 25 times. Right. I mean, can you talk about how you achieved that? Sure. Yeah, the main objective for us was to take our existing single board computer, which was the Sabertooth, and utilize the by 16 PCI Express lane, and then connect that to a full speed GPU from NVIDIA. So we were able to then run that GPU at its full bandwidth um, over the entire range of its performance. Uh, which really opened up our ability to get that inferencing performance. And then um, I understand the AI benchmark tool is something that you offer. Could you provide some more details about this tool and the specific tests that were conducted to measure this inferencing sure. performance? So the tool that we use is from uh, a company called AI.benchmark um, and it's an open source tool which allows us to take the Python script that was used to benchmark this and the Jetson and run the exact same set of inferencing instructions on both. Uh, it uses a version of TensorFlow as the underlying uh, architecture and it, we were actually kind of astonished when we got the initial results. We had to rerun those benchmarks a couple of times to validate the, the information. But it was uh, very clear from the very first time we tested it with that tool that we had achieved a, a pretty significant jump in performance. You must have felt quite proud. Yeah, we were very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you mentioned um, earlier the size of it. So given the compact dimensions, how did you make sure that it operated effectively in environments where space might be quite limited? Sure. So the stacking orientation of the boards allows us to get a lot of performance within a very small footprint. The other thing that we tried to do is put all the connectors on only two sides. That way that people, when they go to integrate it, aren't trying to come off all four sides with connectors. Um, that combined with the metal standoffs and the thermals that we were able to implement using both heat pipes and dual heat plates allows us to put this in very small packages out in real world applications. So this is your latest product. 
but you guys also offer Sabretooth Connect. So Correct. walk us through that. So Sabretooth Connect is very similar uh, in that it uses our Sabretooth CPU module. But instead of a GPU, we added a dual 10 gigabit Ethernet module to it as, in, as uh, excuse me, instead. Uh, so that it allows for uh, folks to connect to really high bandwidth network um, requirements. Well, thank you for providing that overview, Chris. To finish us off, could you talk about your partnership with DigiKey? Sure. Um, our partnership with DigiKey has been very, very valuable for us. Um, we've been with you, I think, since uh, 2012. Uh, and it has been an absolute gift to our customers, especially our international customers, so they can go get a single unit or a couple of units to get started on their development. And then they can keep that relationship with DigiKey, which is a partner they're familiar with, and buy the products from us um, going forward for their projects. Mm -hmm. So it's been it's been fantastic. We feel actually pretty blessed to be on the line card at Digital. That's great to hear. Thank you so much, Chris, for talking us through Sabretooth AI. All right. Thank you.